Well, this is something I've never done on this channel before. I'm going to predict the platinum price for 2023. Let's explore. Now, this is the first time I'm doing this. I've always been pretty bullish on platinum. So take that as a grain of salt because you know, I'm going to have a very biased opinion about the metal. And I think some of what I'm about to tell you may warrant some of my bullish nature with regards to platinum. But keep in mind, platinum is a metal, though I am bullish on, I refer to as a fringe precious metal. In other words, it's not really a metal that uh, one should feel comfortable stacking as a wealth preserver or hedge against economic instability. No. It is a metal that I think you should consider to diversify your precious metals portfolio um, and understand that the price volatility in platinum will probably still remain in 2023, although we are seeing a trend to the upside with the metal, uh, but you have to look at a long-term view of the chart <clears throat> and really it's not really forming much of a solid base until about 2015 and 2016, although we have seen some dips below that base. But I believe in this video, uh, I'm going to share with you why I think we're going to see platinum reach around nine year highs this year. Now, again, as a disclaimer, I'm doing this for entertainment purposes only. Although I do like to talk about market fundamentals, which I think may help make my prediction a little bit more educated. Uh, I could and have been wrong in the past with regards to precious metals uh, predictions. Platinum and palladium are metals that typically I don't talk about uh, as much as I do gold and silver, obviously. And so I'm really going out on a limb to make this prediction for platinum for 2023. This is the first time I've ever made such a prediction. And what is that prediction? I'm thinking that we may see platinum touch $1,500 an ounce this year in 2023 um and right now it is trading up it is over 1100 an ounce right now as a as as i record this video and so it is something to see uh right now where platinum has been going and where it has been going for the past six months if you look at a six months chart platinum is doing pretty good it's up fairly dramatically. But if you look at that six months chart of platinum, you will see that its prices have moved uh, dramatically up and down during that period. Volatility with platinum is pretty much a normal thing. Um, it is not so much with gold and, and silver, although silver has been pretty volatile uh, in recent weeks here as well, as I had predicted. I think we're gonna see that as well too. So just as goes silver and gold, you will see platinum, I think, waver even more in terms of its price. What's so special about platinum? Well, platinum is a metal that is very rare. Some people think it's between um, you know, eight to 10 to 15 times rarer than gold. Um, and that is something that should um, make it more expensive, one would think. However, rarity does not negate value. Uh, by any stretch of the imagination. I've learned that uh, through the, my course of uh, investing in, uh, in precious metals or precious metal hedging or what have you. Rarity does not negate value. In fact, I can tell you that at the most extreme example of that is rhodium, a much more rare metal than platinum or palladium of the platinum group metals that is the rarest precious metal that is traded on the markets. In fact, it's so rare that uh, it doesn't trade nearly as frequently. Uh, but there was a time when it was trading for about six to $700 an ounce. And one of those rare opportunities, I actually made a purchase of one ounce, which I would have bought more at the time. Hindsight, as I say, is 2020, even though we are in 2023. Uh, but uh, it was much cheaper than, um, well, probably, it was probably close to platinum at the time, maybe a little bit cheaper, uh, but much cheaper than gold, that's for sure. Uh, but here we are now, and it is way up there. It is still above. Rhodium is, is, is back up above 
uh, $13,000 an ounce. It got up to $29,000 an ounce for a while. Yes, I do follow the rhodium prices too. But platinum though is a metal has much more utility. It is much more utilized as a catalyst. And uh, it's probably just a matter of time before we start to see retooling and especially um, when we see the retooling of the catalytic converter industry uh, to use platinum more so than palladium or utilize a little bit more platinum along with palladium because the palladium's prices are, are high um, and they're higher uh, than platinum right now. However, the difference between the two is less these days and um, but the availability, the mining of the metals, well, they're co both kind of mined in the same way and they're kind of byproducts of each other, as it were. And so therefore, um, you have to just take which metal is more available, which one is easier to process for the catalyst. And because industry uh, with this metal is paramount to the price discovery and price uh, movement. And with the everything opening back up in China, at least to some degree, many people think it's gonna happen by about May of uh, this year. Uh, that very well could mean more demand for platinum, uh, and that could cause the prices to go up. We know there's other fundamentals, uh, understanding where it's mined uh, and the geopolitical uncertainty uh, that is involved in the mining of, of uh, platinum and palladium as well too, but they also move along with the markets. Uh, some people feel that this year we are going to see a commodity boom. Now, what does that mean for platinum? Well, platinum is largely seen as a commodity. The forms that you see in here are in the form of investor grade bullion, such as bars, coins here that you can see of various different types. Uh, this piece here I bought. Now, many people have talked about this. I believe it was one of the first to show it on my channel, but this is a pretty cool little piece, a very wide diameter um, from Gibraltar. Five pounds, platinum one ounce reeded edge, very thin, wide platinum piece uh, from 2022. It is the castle there. Um, and so, but there are options out there to purchase it in coin and bar form as investor grade in this, as it were. You can also buy ETFs as well. However, just like with anything else um, in the precious metal space, I encourage people to buy it in the physical form. I think it's, it's a beautiful metal. It's a very dense, it is the densest and heaviest of the metals that are traded in the marketplace today. And so why not have some of it in your in your collection and stack and diversify? That's kind of what I've been doing over the years. Um, however, this metal will very much be, I think, affected by the commodity boom that many people are predicting for 2023, which is why my prediction is there as, as a pretty bullish prediction, a nine year high is what I'm predicting, that I think it will touch $1,500 an ounce. And that's the high. I think it will probably uh, stay in line with somewhere around uh, 1,000 and above through the year. I kind of doubt it's gonna fall below 1,000. Of course, I could be wrong. Of course, I could be wrong about the, the high as well. But uh, in any event, I think it'll be greatly affected by the predicted commodity boom. Uh, and silver and gold especially may not be as effective because gold is seen less as a commodity and more as a monetary metal. And so that's why I think it's, it's upside, though I think is good, uh, as I predicted in my video about gold's prediction for 2023. I believe platinum has a lot more room to move up. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, I'm not going to go as, be as bold as to say that, uh, that platinum is going to overtake gold like it used to do back in the good old days because it used to be trade higher than gold. Uh, but uh, it's going to fall short fairly dramatically uh, from, from gold by maybe as much as $5,000 based off of my gold price prediction for the year. But I am bullish on um, platinum as well. Um, and you'll see a theme here as I have done my prediction videos for 2023, I am bullish on all the metals. Yes, indeed. Uh, there's no use for me to do a palladium uh, video. However, that one is probably the one I'm least bullish on. But uh, nonetheless, uh, I doubt many people will watch it anyway. But uh, here we are. That, this is my platinum prediction video. 
This channel, by the way, and I appreciate all of you who take the time to watch these videos, if you press that thumbs up button down below, it will help the algorithm and share this video. Some of you, I've been teasing this for a while, and some of you have been salivating at wanting to get this video and get my thoughts on it. So I'm curious to see what your thoughts are for Platinum's price in 2023. Uh, am I wrong? Let me know. Uh, what are your thoughts on Platinum for 2023? And uh, and understanding that this channel is called Salivate Metal for a reason, you know? that It's a Pavlovian response to metals. I just like precious metals. I like the physical metals to have in the hand and to hold. Um, there's nothing about, there's nothing like that aspect of it. To be able to see it, to, to have it in your possession, knowing that you own it. There's no counterparty risk uh, and minimal single party risk if you take the right measures to protect yourself. And also, I like to talk about more than just gold and silver from time to time. Platinum is a metal that I love. It's probably my favorite of the precious metals out there. Um, although it's very tough to beat gold. And I still love silver too. But I just something about platinum is just really intriguing to me. And for those of you who've been following my channel for long enough, you know that I do talk about from platinum from time to time. It's a very cool metal. Um, and it's not quite as popular as the other metals. I think it's undervalued, and I've felt like that for years. And I think the price action has bore my uh, sentiment out because we've seen it. Um, I mean, it's just amazing to kind of take a look back uh, through history, especially over the last three years, and see, you know, where, you know, at around... Um, the beginning of May, it went up to uh, $1,300 of 2021. Uh, I, actually, I'm sorry, this was this was in around February of, of uh, 2021. So it, it wasn't that long ago that it got up there pretty high. Uh, a couple 150 bucks or $200 short of what my prediction is for this year, which would be a nine-year high. Um, and even if you look, go back to uh, March of of 20 March, late March of 2022, I'm sorry, early March of 2022, it's just above where it is now. That's the last time we saw the prices where they are now. Um, and so it's, it's, uh, it's creeping back up there again. Um, and it wasn't that long ago when we saw platinum and around September uh, trading at $837 an ounce. Uh, that's kind of the low that we've seen it. So, uh, you know, volatility reigns supreme with uh, with platinum. And for those of you who are interested as a diversification tool, buying the dip is certainly something to consider with platinum because it doesn't get quite the attention. And so you can do very well when you make a purchase of platinum when the dips are there. And because uh, it does tend to have a higher premium than gold and silver. But even with these dips, I think you do very well. So there it is. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. What's your price prediction for platinum in 2023? I want to extend a multitude. That means a lot for those of you in Rio Linda. Uh, and, sh and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.